Hey guys, how you doing? Hey Leos, how you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. It's your girl Twindy, and thank you for stopping by. It's the weekend, Leo. So really, really happy. I love the weekends, man. Get to relax after, you know. Anyways. Let's jump into your message. Oh, guys, before I do that, please, yes, I want to introduce to you guys my new products to my website. Okay, let me introduce to you. I have them here already. This is, um, let me start here. This is my money oil, guys. I call this one Lucky You Aventurine because it has the Aventurine stones inside that is said to be a powerful money magnet, helps you to manifest abundance, prosperity. And I think love too, you know, I got to check on that one. So this is a lip oil. This is lip oil for your lips because as I see it, you speak what you want, right? You speak what you need. But anyways, that's what I came up with. So I can help you guys to manifest financial abundance. And when you get this, guys, you see it's a little bit cloudy. There's nothing wrong with it. That's um, um what's it? glycerin. That's glycerin inside and it's because it, it, it's at a different consistency with the with the oils that I mix it with. So yeah, all you gotta do is just shake it, man. Shake, 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 and it will just, you know, mix up. Anyways, nothing wrong with that. And then you have these ones. These are jade. This is jade. In the Asian community, the jade is very powerful. But this is a yellow jade, and I, always, I also have green, but I haven't made those yet. And this is the set this is $23 on my website for the set that's Canadian in the US it would be cheaper for you guys and you can have it in silver beads or gold beads it depends whichever you want you just choose which one you want guys and then the Aventurine this bracelet guys oh so beautiful I love them and it comes with its earring also manifesting financial abundance and I decided that I'm going to that I'm going to also send a mantra with these bracelets I was only sending the mantra with the money oil but these are money making whatever you want to call them things beauty things jewelry <laughs> So why not? I'll send you a mantra also, the money mantra, to help boost the powers of the stones. Oh, let me put them on so you can see what it looks like. And thank you, sorry for taking up your time, but thank you for your patience so I can show you what I have for you guys, what I've made. What I've made for you. I'm just doing this, guys, to try and help you guys. Because so, we all need money. I need money. I need money, and I know how to get it. So why not share the knowledge? Why not share the knowledge? So that's it. Now let's jump into your message. Thank you for watching my advertisement. It is so long. It was so long. This is not like a YouTube ad at all. It's Twin D's ad. Anyways, let's jump into your message. You can just skip over that if you didn't want to see all that's going on here. Anyways. Oh, oh, sorry, the money oil is $17 on the website, and shipping is extra, guys. Uh, I think it, it's, it's $9, I think, but it's $17 for the oil, and it's $23 for the sets, Canadian. Anyways, let's jump into your message. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And please, if there is a kind soul out there who would timestamp these for me, I, I can't even find the time to record properly, much less to timestamp. Thank you. Love you. Now let's jump into your message, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you on this weekend, Leo. What's up for you guys? Okay, Father God, what's up for these Leos, please? What's going on for them? And it could be either the masculine or feminine energy that I'm picking up here. And you could have Leo anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, top, bottom, wherever. As long as it says Leo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bad for them, good for you. Bad for them, good for you. There's a separation there's an ending of something here. Somebody's getting a divorce. Somebody's moving on, moving forward. 
maybe dealing with a cancer here, you have fire sign, water sign there. The star Aquarius. Yeah, somebody's seeing the bigger picture here. Somebody's being awakened. Somebody is, um, there's some spiritual abundance that this person is going through here. Spiritual change. Somebody's also working on their finances here. Earth sign. Yeah, somebody's seen something more clear earlier, um, Leo. Somebody's seen something very, very clear. Very clear. Like a, a new path has been opened. They're coming to some sort of conclusion. They're coming to some sort of conclusion. And what they're coming to, what they're coming to is helping them to realize something, which is why they ended th that thing over there. Yeah, it's a spiritual change that this person is undergoing. A spiritual change. A spiritual change here. This is massive change. This is, this is more than a 360. This is like two times 360. We have cancer showing up two times. Two times. Judgment, fire sign, and air sign. So let's see, let's see what's going on here. Let me get some clarification. There's balance coming in for this person. There's balance coming in. Mm -hmm. They're releasing a lot of things here. This person's heart is opening. They're, they are coming to a conclusion. This person did a lot of soul searching, a lot of soul digging. Yeah, and a lot was revealed. Pisces energy. Pisces energy with the moon. And the hermit here. What's the hermit? Forgive me, guys. I don't know these cards. Virgo. Your person wants to come towards you. This person here or persons, they want to come forward with an offer. They ended something and they want to move forward. Yeah. And, and and don't worry. It's not bad. I don't know the cards. Because I don't read cards. I, I tell you exactly what's happening. The cards just back me up. I'm not a tarot reader, guys. I deliver messages. I'm a teacher. So I guess I gotta learn these cards for you. Anyways, guys, what's this Ten of Cups, Father God, in the reverse for these Leos? What's this Ten of Cups? Wow, the star once again. This is healing. This is healing. Your person is healing from a situation here. They're healing. They woke up. They saw that there was something wrong. And they're changing it. Your person is moving forward here. They're no longer staying behind. Leo. No longer staying behind. It. Look, look, look. It's the passion inside of them. There's something that's pulling them. There's something pulling them. Tell me about this King of Wands for these Leos, please. There's something pulling them. There's something pulling them. Destiny. They can't run from this. Destiny is pulling them. Inevitable changes. They have to rise up. They have to move from the level that they're at. Something is pulling this person to move from the level that they're at. It's like, yeah, it, it, it's like, there, it, it's like, say for example, this is a divine masculine's energy and the divine masculine has to rise to meet the divine feminine's energy. That's what's happening here. And I get that that's what's happening here. It's like the divine feminine has changed already and, is, and has already risen to a, a higher level and now the divine masculine has to change to rise and match the divine feminine's energy. And the star, yeah, healing, releasing, 919. There you go, healing, told you. They're healing from this situation, guys. They're healing, they're manifesting, they're growing, they're changing, they're releasing what needs to be released, they're opening up their heart. Tell me about this page of, so page of swords. Mm -hmm. They had to see things more clearly. Here, they weren't, in, they weren't their, their true self. They weren't their true self. They had to be made over. Things had to change. And there were some sudden changes that happened here because now they're changing their perception. Now they're, they're realizing that where they are is not where they need to be.
this person is working very hard in regards to their internal changes, in regards to the changes that they're going through. They're working very, very hard. You have Aries energy, you're another Earth energy. Because this is what they need, not that upside down one over there. This is what they need, the Ten of Cups. That's what they need. So you have a lot of fire sign, fire sign, fire sign, fire sign, fire sign. And the Ten of Swords and air. Yeah, so they got to complete, they got to complete the situation. So your divine person here is moving back for a second chance. They want a second chance. They want a second chance. They, they are ending the old them. See that? They're ending the old them. It's time for a brand new beginning. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. That healing has been completed. Let's meet in the middle. Leo, there you are. This could be your energy, Leo. This could be your energy. See, you're walking away from something here. You left this person in the past this person that you left in the past like you're moving back towards them you're moving back towards them there's a lot of passion and desire here oh my god look look at these cards that are peeking out this is the ace of wands this is the ace of swords and this is the ace of pentacles see that This is a brand new beginning all around, all around a brand new beginning, one that's going to be prosperous, one that's going to be prosperous, that 360 degree change that I'm talking about. This person is now feeling fulfilled and harmonious. Your person is ready for that change, man. Oh, I love this. I love this, Leo. Your person is ready for that change. That second chance is coming in for you. It's coming in. And it's happening because you have risen. This is it, 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 it's definitely divine masculine's energy that's coming forward here. They're rising above to meet the divine feminine's energy. 1221. Leo's dealing with an Aries. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Leo's with an Aries. Queen of Swords. Gaining clarity. Understanding. Figuring things out. Figuring things out because you were trapped in a situation. You were trapped in a situation. A situation that broke your heart. A situation that made you feel sad. This person is no longer like accepting. Accepting that failure. Accepting that heartache. Accepting that pain. They are elevating. Becoming the queen of cups. Learning to love themselves. See, they went through all the thinking, all the thoughts. There. They were trapped. Thinking. The thoughts in their head. But now they're learning to love themselves. They are in that energy. And no longer are they accepting this. No longer are they accepting this. They, oh, didn't I tell you? No longer accepting that hurt, that pain, that sadness. Now they're feeling all this happiness. That's what the Queen of Cups does to you. Mm -hmm. No clarity. They had no clarity before. No clarity. No clarity about their happiness, about their success, about their future. Nothing. Nothing about what they could achieve. Nothing. But they put an end to that. They put an end to that. Now everything is finally clear. Everything is more clear. Yes, leaving that behind. Now this person is stable. Now it's their stable. They have left a lot behind here. They're opening up their heart, man. They're opening up their heart. There's a lot of clarity that this person gained. So, Leos, if you're dealing with an Aries, your person is definitely gaining clarity and learning to love themselves. Okay, I'm going to put them back, but I just want to show you what they were. The Nine of Cups and the Moon. All right, Leos dealing with a uh, Taurus. Let's see what's up for you guys. Let's see what's up. Somebody escaping sadness. I love I love the way your messages are now, Leo. Getting out of that sad energy. Getting out of that sad energy. Breaking free. Opening up your eyes. You're being helped by the 5D. 
you'll be helped by God, your angels to break out of that. I can't see what's happening. I, I have no feelings. I, 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 I'm just going to remain where I am. That internal battle, that fight, that struggle that you're going through. You're being helped by God here. You're being helped spiritually. Yes. Your heart's wide open. That new feeling that you're developing is one of love. One of self-love. Unconditional love. 1515. Unconditional love. No more in that energy. I love it. Because you were filled with sadness. Ooh. I love it, man. Leos, you're rising above, man. You're rising above. You're seeing more clearly. More understanding. Now you know what's up. Now you know what's up. Now you know that unconditional love and self-love is what you should be looking out for. Now you know it. And the hermit. Yeah, you did some soul searching here, 1551. You did some soul searching. And what you came up with is self-love. Self-love. And that's bringing you what you want, what you desire, and the changes that you're supposed to be making. You're understanding how everything works. You're making those choices, making those decisions. And it's bringing you what you truly desire and deserve. Harmony, total harmony and fulfillment. Total harmony and fulfillment. And of course your person too. But your person is you, right? So once you gain that self-love, what do you think? Your person's definitely going to come back to you. Leo's dealing with a Gemini. Leo's dealing with a Gemini. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's putting in some hard work here. You may work with this person. Eight of Cups. Somebody, this person here, this person may have left a job. This person may have left a job. Or this person may not have been putting in the hard work. In regards to you and them and your connection there was something here that this person had to leave behind that they were putting a lot of work in but it's, it's like their feelings change about it like they change their mind about it they gain some clarity and they change their mind about it so they're walking away from it leaving it behind mm -hmm. something that they had to leave behind yes they had to leave it behind the six of cups they have something on their mind. They have someone on their mind. They have a new place on their mind where they need to be. Ten of Swords. <laughs> Freedom. Freedom. Clarity. Understanding. Passion. Desire. Justice. Freedom. Something is working out the way that it should for you. Freedom. A change. A change. A change. A massive change. Somebody's free from their old self here. Give me one more, please. Somebody's free from their old self. It's time for a brand new beginning. This person wasn't taking the opportunity that they needed to in, in, in the past here. But it's all done with those stuff. It's all done. They're all completed. This is going to happen. Look, um, okay, I need to stop saying that. Your person may come towards you. This is Leo with a Gemini. Your person may come towards you. They're missing out. They know they're missing out. They know they're missing out and they don't want to miss out anymore. They don't want to miss out anymore. They want that union, guys. They want that union. Leo's dealing with a cancer. Let's see what's up for you guys. That was fast. Oh, there you go, Leo. That's you gaining your strength. Oh, you want this connection. Yes. I don't blame you. Communication. There's no communication. There's no there's there's no um there's no passion. There's no movement forward here. Somebody here needs to develop the strength that they need so they can move forward to this life that they're dreaming of. Because they're dreaming of that life, but there's no movement, no action. See? Once they start to move, once they start to take action, that's when they're going to see their victory. That's when they're going to realize how things will work out. That's how they're going to see their abundance. Jesus, I love it. I love it. I love it. Your person's coming forward. They just got to break the silence. They just got to break the silence. They're thinking they're in their mind. They got to break the silence. 
They're in their mind. Some of them are being taken back to the past that they, were, that they once faced. The evil past. Yeah. But they're going to man up. They're going to see. They're going to see the differences here. They're going to see the difference. For some of them, it made them feel insecure inside. But no more. No more, baby. No more. They're rising up. They're elevating. There you go. Knight of Swords. And they are coming forward. They, now, listen. This person here, this is what this Leo reading is about. You people rising above and elevating to meet each other on the middle path. Your person is coming towards you. Listen, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys tell me that your person is coming in tomorrow. You know, or when tomorrow comes you, you say, Twindy, Twindy, guess what? My person called me. My person texted me. My person, my person came to see me. I wouldn't be surprised. Look at that. Look at that. And that. This is very fast. This is very fast. Oh, God, look what was under the bottom, man. Whoa. Listen, this is definitely happening for somebody here very, very soon. Very, very soon. Leo with a cancer. Very, very soon. Both of you guys showed up, eh? Leo and cancer. So just like I said, matching each other. Leo's dealing with a Leo. Let's see what's up for you guys. Leo is dealing with a Leo. You're accepting, you're accepting an offer from God here. You're acknowledging an offer from God. You're accepting it. You're putting behind you all the things that, that means you're no good. All the things that mean you're no good. And you're now focused. 606. You're now focused on building. Building a tradition for yourself is what I heard. Building a tradition for yourself. There's something you're rushing towards. Someone. Yes. Balance. You need balance. You need balance. For some of you, you were going back and forth in your head because of um, past situations. And you see your future. You know what your future holds. But you're, you, I don't know, you were just not sure that things were going to work out. There you are, just sitting down, thinking, wondering, is this going to work out? But at the same time, you're missing your opportunities. There, like I said, sitting down, just thinking, what's going on? You know, how do I get through this? What do I do? What's, what's my move? But you're going to remain and become grounded, stable, focus. Heal from that situation. You need to get out of your head. You need to get out of your head in order to maintain that balance. You need to drop that burden. It's too heavy for you. You need to put it down. You need to put it down and make those plans. Make those plans. That's how you're going to be victorious. Two, three, four. That's how you're going to be victorious. That's how you're going to be prosperous. Got to start making those plans. To drop that burden. Get out of your head. Stop thinking so much. Overthinking things. Overthinking things. You just got to do it. Leave the past where it is. You know what you want. You have the passion and the desire. You know what you want. You can feel it, you know. Leo's with a Virgo. The Ten of Pentacles. You're moving towards something um, long term. For these Leo's with a Virgo, Whatever it is that you are dealing with here that was long term, you don't want any part of it anymore. You feel stuck in it. You feel stuck in it. There. You feel stuck in it. 
you need something different you need a union you need a commitment you need happiness you need your soul partner you're looking for that soul connection you're looking for that happiness you're looking for that strength you're looking for that uh, same energy you're looking for that balance and stability you're looking for that happiness there you go again you're looking for that happiness something is telling you you need to move on yes you have someone on your mind you have someone you can't get off your mind and it's telling you to move forward you're listening to your intuition yeah you're getting a better understanding you're you're like doing your research you're finding things out seeing things more clearly losing those third eyes or should I say that third eye is one eye <laughs> Yeah, you're seeing manipulation for what it is. You're seeing manipulation for what it is. You also realize that you were manipulating yourself, which is the reason why you weren't putting in any work at all. You're realizing that. Self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. But all that is changing because here you are with the Nine of Cups feeling fulfilled. All that's left for them to do is take that action and it's going to happen soon because that chariot, mm -hmm, that chariot is not slow. There's two horses pulling that baby. It's not slow. Leo's dealing with a Libra. Let's see what's up for you guys. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh my Lord. I guess you Leos are going through a lot of separations these days. What's happening here? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this could be a father, a father figure here. Uh, this person here is no longer fulfilled in the situation that they're in. This person has now has control over their life. And I, I, I'm getting that not only is this this personal life, but it, it, it's like family situation, like extended family. Um, aunts, uncles, mommies, daddies. They were like intervening in this parent's life, in this person's life, trying to control this person. But now they have control of themselves. They have regained control over themselves. And whatever this long-term thing is that you're coming out of, Guess what? You're happy. You're fulfilled. You're joyful that you're moving on. Yeah, clarity, man. Clarity. Clarity. Understanding. Self-love. Self-appreciation. It's like your, your masculine and feminine energies are being balanced. There being balance, opening up your heart, releasing things. There's communication coming in for you guys, Virgos with a Libra. Mm -hmm. You weren't feeling fulfilled at all. You were feeling hopeless. But God changed that. God changed that. That inevitable change, that change that had to happen. You are done with that situation. You're no longer feeling that way because you're the man over there. You're the man or the woman over there. There you go. Now it's time to work on yourself to align those chakras. Balance those energies. Yeah, walk away from the situation. Made that difficult choice. You made that difficult choice. And now you're dreaming of your future. You want that change, that second chance with this person. You want to complete this cycle. And you will. You will. Now you're moving on towards your heart's desires. Now you're moving on towards your heart's desires. I keep forgetting my bracelet. Leo's in with a Scorpio. Why are you stuck? Why are you stuck? You need to break free. You need to get out of that energy. Oh, Jesus. That's why you're stuck. When this energy comes to play, man, it's, it's totally hard to get out of that situation. The devil energy. Totally hard. 
you're stuck, you're being played with, you're being manipulated. And this is some, some self-sabotage here as well, manipulating yourself. You are relying on the outside world for your sight. You need to connect with God here. You need to gain the spiritual connection, the spiritual understanding. Yeah, you don't know yourself. You don't know yourself. You need to be reborn. You need to be restored. There's a lot that needs to be changed inside of you. You need to be more focused on the spiritual instead of what's happening on the outside and in your mind. Then you'll be able to move forward. Then those changes will be able to be made. What's the outcome here, please? Then those changes will be made. Then you'll be able to love again. Make that offer again. You know? See yourself for who you truly are. Being happy. Being happy. It's that you were you had no clarity. You had no clarity before. It's like you were lost. No sense of direction. But justice will be served. Justice will be served. Didn't I tell you that? Justice will be served because God don't play. God don't play. And when you ask God for help, he don't play. You just got to say, God, help me. I need your help. Enter into my life and take control. 616. There are situations in your home that you need to take care of. Make your home a happy place. It's your safe place. Focus on making your home a happy place. Anything that's wrong within your home, resolve it, fix it. So you can enjoy your happy place. Two of swords, take those blindfolds off. Leaves with a Scorpio. You're going to be transformed. You're not going to be stuck here any longer. You just got to ask God for help. There's a lot of stuck energy right there. A lot. Purposefully stuck. Leo's with a Sagittarius. Nine of Wands. Taking that last stand. So it's because it was an inevitable change. That's why you're taking that last stand. It's because what's supposed to happen is happening. Things are happening in sequence the way it should. The way it should. Internal changes. Internal changes. For some of you here, you may be low on finances, which is what actually gave you that low self-esteem energy. But... You are gaining yourself back. You're opening up your heart. Your heart is it's like it's coming alive. You're now feeling that love, that self-love, that self-appreciation. The five of swords working very hard on this situation, wanting to change, wanting to overcome those difficulties, those challenges. There you go. Ending the conflict, guys. That's nice. That's awesome. Breaking free from all those challenges. Breaking free and you're being helped. You're being helped by this person that you have on your mind. You're being helped. Leo, maybe your energy, you're gaining that strength that you need to move forward. You're manifesting your happy life, your happy home, your future. And you're doing this with the help of the person that's on your mind. That person that you want to return to. Leo's with a Capricorn. Let's see what's up for you guys. Leo's with a Capricorn. You're taking a leap of faith. You're moving away from something. You're taking a chance of moving away from something. I think because you're heading towards something that's better. You're changing your location as well. But it's right there, doll. Oh, Jesus. My God. Okay, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. They're doing construction again. Now let's see what else is going on here for these. Leo's dealing with a Capricorn.
someone's definitely changing location and you're moving towards somebody that you love. You're moving towards somebody that you want to make an offer to. An offer of love, that is. Nice. See that? You are moving towards somebody. You want to make an offer. And you're doing this fast. You're doing this quickly. It's like you feel like you're running out of time. You feel like you're running out of time. You know this isn't over, but you see, you still feel like you're running out of time. Mm -hmm. You just have that feeling, that passion, that desire that's driving you. You have that feeling. A little bit obsessive right now. Good. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you are manifesting your desires, guys. What you want is coming to you. That's why you're feeling that way, because what you want, what you need, what you're supposed to receive, what you manifested is on its way to you. This energy is no longer needed. It's no longer needed. You're here worried, feeling like you ran out of time, but you haven't. You have not. Please excuse the knocking, guys, but I have to continue because... I don't know when they're gonna stop. Leo's dealing with an Aquarius. You're seeing the light here. There's there's a new part of you. There's some strength that you have developed that's helping you to overcome this heartache and this pain. Yep, that strength got you going. That strength got you going. Now you're experiencing self-love and harmony. Now you're experiencing self-love and harmony. You're returning to something or someone here. Something that makes you feel happy, victorious, prosperous. I, I'm hearing that you've been longing for this. Whatever it is you're returning to. You've been longing for it. You've been longing for it. You've been tied down for far too long. You've been unhappy for far too long. Yes, that's because you were without your person. You were without your person. You were without your person. That's why you felt that way. But now, yeah, it's like you were trapped in a situation. I think this is very important. You were trapped in a situation. But you're breaking free. You're broken free. Breaking. Wow, new word. Now you're moving towards that love of your life. You had to put a lot of things to an end. You had to regain control. You had to also work on your finances here. This person, you and them, you may you may have met at work. But you miss this person. You miss this person. You miss them. They made you happy and you know it. Okay, Leo's with a Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see what's up for you guys. Leo's dealing with a Pisces. Ooh, abundance, money. You must have bought one of my bracelets. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, something is coming to fruition here. Something is coming full circle. Something that was lost from you. I just saw 38, 38. 11 11 there you go financial abundance coming in towards you financial abundance you're it's like you're getting your courage back here yes you're getting your courage back guys you're getting your strength your prosperity everything is coming back around to you it's like everything you've lost is now being returned everything you've lost is being returned to you you have like you have a clear vision of something you have a clear vision of something and that's allowing you to cut things out of your life that don't need to be there and pushing you in the direction that you need to go putting an end towards sadness moving towards happiness prosperity it's, this is mostly about money for you guys leo's dealing with the pisces your financial abundance is coming back together it's like you're no longer worried about anything. You're no longer in your head. You now have clear clarity and understanding. That's what that king does. Oh, Jesus. There was somebody here in your circle. There was somebody in your circle, somebody you were with, somebody you were dealing with. This could be a mother figure, uh, a, a wife, a girlfriend, a, a mother, a grandmother, somebody who is a mother around you that blinded your, your, your prosperity, your future, that stopped you from moving forward. Somebody here that made it take money from you as well. 
Just tuk 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 tuk. This was a counterpart of yours. Tuk 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 tuk. Never give, never give. But it's like that's been wrapped up. That's been wrapped up. That's been wrapped up. Maybe there were two persons here that you had to be given to in the past. There are two persons here. It, it, it's like this person here, this mother figure here, was this person that you were dealing with that, um, that, 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 that took your joy, that took your peace, that took your money, that took everything from you. And it's like now you found it again. You found it. It's like you found someone that you can work with, someone you can build with. So now you found your peace. Now you found your happiness. This person, this it's like this new person that entered your life allows you to feel this joy, this prosperity once again. So there's somebody new in your life here that's allowing you to feel happiness and fulfillment. The blind foes are coming off. You're no longer blind. You're no longer trapped. You are getting a second chance. You're moving forward. And here you go. I love how the Leo is showing up here, being strong and stable, clear-minded. Now you have your happiness once again, 4 to 111. The deception, there was a lot of deception. And it was by this person here. This has been your message, Leo. I love you guys and I thank each and every one of you for your support. Guys, thank you. I love, 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 love you so, so much. Let go and let God, everyone. Let's trust in God for everything that we need. Because with God, all things are possible. Take care of yourselves. See you later at your general message. Because it's the weekend. Love you guys. Later.